back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for my BYOP or build your own palette, pan that palette. This is something that I started with my friend Dana. She is going to be listed down below. She is on Instagram only. There have been other people that have joined in and everyone that I'm aware of is going to be listed down below in my description box. If you are doing this or you know someone else that is doing this, let me know. Give me their information down in the comments and I will get them put into the description box so other people can find them. This is a project that really is kind of do it your own way. Last year my goal was just to hit pan on a bunch of things. As soon as I hit pan on stuff I rolled it out and I rolled something new in. This year however I have increased the number of eyeshadows that I have in this and I am attempting to finish stuff this year where I wasn't last year but I do reserve the right to change it if I decide that a shadow just isn't working for me I may end up rolling it out at some point it really is build your own and however you want to do it you set your own goals there is no stress there is no pressure this is kind of ongoing like I said last year I did it one way this year I'm doing it this way I did do a complete refresh but you know, I can refresh it whenever I want. I might do it the same way next year. I might not, but it is going to continue on. So that being said, I am going to show you what this palette looked like last month. And this is what it looks like now. Definitely some big changes in this. And we are going to go through these one at a time. If I can get my big old finger out of the way, I'm very pleased with where I am. Some of these shadows haven't been touched at all and others have been touched a whole lot. So let's go over this. This first shade in the corner, this is from my Coastal Sense 88 palette. It is a Franken that I created out of shades from that palette. And I just pressed it into a 26 millimeter pan. And I have hit pan on that since the last update. It is actually quite thin around the outside and I will be very happy when this is done. Not because I don't like the shade because I do like it quite a bit, but just knowing that I will have another shadow done out of that palette will make me very happy. Eventually I will get that whole palette done. Shade number two is also from the Coastal Sense 88 palette is a Franken. It has three different eyeshadows in here and I have got a little bit more of a dip going in there now. It's still going to be a little while till I hit pan, I think, but I am making good progress on it. This next shadow is a Coastal Sense Hot Pot in Pink Mauve. I think I've only used this a few times since the last update, so there is not a whole lot of difference there. Next up, we have a Luxy shadow. This is the shade Ube. I have used it, but you can't really tell any different because I do use this with my fingers to apply it, and it's just going to take a long time for me to hit pan on that one. This one is also from Luxie. This is in the shade Hot Rod. I do use this in the same way. It is going to take me a while to hit pan on that one. Okay, moving down to the next row. This is a Coastal Scents Hot Pot in Ice Ballet. I have definitely expanded the pan in this one. The one edge is significantly thinner than it used to be, and I am just going to keep working to expand that pan to get to the point where I do need to repress it and I am just going to enjoy it. I love it on the lids. I love it on my inner corners. It is just really a nice shade. Next up is the Coastal Scents Hot Pot in Pomegranate Red. I've only used this maybe twice since the last update. I have ever so slightly expanded the pan on that one, and it really needs to get more love. Here is Cloud White from Coastal Scents, and I have ever so slightly expanded the pan on this one as well. Here we have Midas Gold, also from Coastal Scents. I have definitely expanded the pan on this one. I wouldn't say it's a drastic change, but I have used this one more than like these two here, and I just absolutely love the shade. And then Peach Puff right here on the end, I think I've only used that once or twice, and I don't think you can see any difference in the pan there. Moving on to this row right here, these are all Bare Mineral Shadows. The first one is in the shade Cupcake, and I have definitely expanded the dip on that one. It is a little bit deeper, and I'm just going to keep working at that. I am working on another shade that is very similar to this one. So it's kind of been getting split time. And once I hit pan on the other shadow, that one is going to be rolled out and this one will get a whole lot more attention. Next up, we have Puzzle, which is a really beautiful shade. That one I think I've only used twice and you can't really tell any difference. This one here is Jasmine Tea. This is a struggle for me. I really like this shadow a lot, but it does not look the same on as it does in the pan. The base on this 
looks very like teal, like light teal, but it pulls very like peachy with that kind of teal undertone to it. And I'm not sure I have found exactly how I like using it. It's just, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna have to figure out how this works best for me. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I know it looks very just basic teal here in the pan, but that is not how it applies. All right, we're gonna go across the bottom row and then finish off over here. This first one is from the Too Faced Rock and Roll palette. It is in the shade Punk. I don't think I've used it since the last update. Here we have a Coastal Scents Mica Pigment that I was able to press into this pan in Foliage Flutter. I have not used that at all. Next up we have the shade Bruised from the Profusion Eyes Trendsetter palette and I have expanded the pan on that one. I just had like a little baby pan last time and I have definitely expanded it. Though this has not been getting as much love as it should because I am working on an all matte black from that same depotted palette in another project that I'm attempting to hit pan on and so I'm kind of splitting time. So this one has not been getting as much love as it should. Next up, we have another Bare Mineral Shadow. This is in Heavenly Diamond. This is one of my absolute favorite Bare Minerals. And I have actually hit pan on this one. And around it is actually quite thin. So I am feeling pretty optimistic that I am going to make really good progress on this pan here. Next up, we have the Bare Mineral Shadow in Banana Smoothie. I think I've only used this once or twice, so no real progress on that one. And then the Elephant in the Room, the Empty Pan, all the silver showing. This is from the Hema Be A Natural Nude Palette, and this was kind of like a a matte satin, it, it leans more, to, or it leaned, I should say, since it's gone, more towards matte, but it do, didn't have like a true matte finish. So that one is gone. That was the lighter of the two shades. This is the second one from that palette. So now that this one is gone, I am going to be focusing on this shadow right here. So I have a really good progress on this palette. I'm very excited with the progress that I'm making on it. And I probably should make some goals. So I think I just want to continue to expand the pan on this green right here. That is definitely going to be a primary focus. Um, again, with the ice ballet, I would like to expand the pan, maybe even hit a side pan there would be nice. Most of these others, I just would like to expand pan slightly. It's not going to be like, can you hear the crunching back there? Yeah, that's Greta. Um, it's not going to be any amazing progress, but I just want to continue to expand pans on that. Um, I would like to make some good progress on this matte cream right here. And Heavenly Diamond, I probably would like to get to the point with this one where I'm going to need to repress it. If I get there quickly, I will repress it before the next update, take a picture, and then show you the progression after that. If not, then I will just um, leave it and then repress it after the next update. But I'm really hoping that I can get to that point because it is quite thin around where this pan is. And hopefully, hopefully I will make very good progress on it. Definitely go check out Dana. Again, she is going to be listed down below. She is only on Instagram. And everyone that I'm aware of that has joined in is going to be listed down below. If you want to join in, of course, we would love to have you on this crazy painting journey. Just let me know down below and I will get your information put into my description box. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.